runes. You need that sword. Go to the shark. Find the sharks. Where is it? Find, Find it. it. There it is. Focus. Say that their all father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. In blindness, there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. Right here. Can't you see me? Oh. Help me. Breathe slow. It's the darkness. Stay still. Empty your thoughts. Tell me what you feel. A breeze. Good. Then there is a way out. I can't tell where it comes from. Yes, you can. The others, the voices, they've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet, it's so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Feel it rise. Be aware of everything you hear and feel. Let your senses guide you. I can't go on. Will you? Find a way. I'm not leaving you here. I think I'm somewhere else now. The breeze has gone. Use all of your senses. <gasps> Let the world speak to you. What do you hear? I hear water. Go to it. Reach the water. Good. That's your way out. Follow it upstream. I'm so sorry. I thought I left this all behind. Don't be sorry. It's not your fault. He was right. It's inside of me. It won't let me go. Shenor. My father. He taught me. Hardest battles are fought in the mind, not the soul. You are no coward. You proved that to me in the warrior trials. This is just another battle. You can beat it. This isn't so bad. You don't have to help me. I want to. Besides, you are going to be a great warrior one day. We need.
perhaps there's no escaping the past in this place. So she's forced to relive it. To what end? There's a waterfall. I can't go on this way. Then look for another way. Find the house. I don't know what's inside. Don't be afraid. Not following me. Leave it behind. I think I'm in a house. It stinks. Of death. The darkness is testing you. You are in control.
as well. Don't turn back. You're getting close. She could spend hours, days even, trapped within herself, in the dark. You see me? Yes. Your eyes were open, but you were... gone. And when it finally let her go, she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there. When it comes back, I have no power over it. But here, for the first time, someone was there to help. But I heard your voice. You brought me back. You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. A little hope. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die.
It's lighter. That's nicer. I like it here. Can we stay? Let's stay here. I like the way it feels. It's safe here. It's calm here. It's light here. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go for him. Dillian, don't lose him. Too many times. You can always help him disappear. Dillian, there he is. Quick. Where is he? Where has he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not in here. She's in the wrong dark. He's in the other one. once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian taught her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. The gods feast and rejoice and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman 
and asks Bowser's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Bowser's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. He saw who she could be. He saw who she really was. He saw the warrior within. Dillian saved her. You owe your life to Dillian. You owe everything to him. He was the only one that really loved her. Said did love her. He saw that she was strong. Not in this one. Listen to your father when you had the chance. Why didn't you listen to him? His love has tortured you, and it tortures me. Your curse has claimed Dillian.
Dillion doesn't know who killed him, but we do. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking pollen. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go, and she was caught between two waves. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. A future. Two realities tearing at her soul. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. your love because he believed in you.
way he stroked your hair. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur. Weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. He was the only one she could trust. Could she trust him? But if they're all about wasting your time, just delay it. And by then it was worth it. <laughs> what does she think she's doing? <laughs> You're special. She thinks she knows. <laughs> they mean nothing. is pointless. What are you doing? Why did you think you could make The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. 
A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. He's the reason she keeps fighting. Druids, like our father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see, and he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tightly began to unravel. You're going to fall, Kev. No, she's not. She's not going to fall. She's strong. She's steady. She can do it. You can do it, Sarah. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. He doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light to me. So someone is afraid of the dark. We fix them by taking away their sight. But you give up the beautiful world they were. You, and only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? A gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I'm not. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this is nothing to do with the sun? What if we're wrong? The sword will never be yours. <laughs> what if this is the end? It's just a trick. You've been fooled before. You could be fooled again. Being destined. You don't know. It's just their game for you. You never know which way it's going to go. <laughs> I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. 
The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. What is this place? Towards it. He's in the house. Find He's him. going in. He's disappearing. Follow him. Don't let him disappear. He is. Where's he gone? Keep going. <laughs> How do you find him? <laughs> it's a test. <laughs> like the old warrior trials. Delian will help me. You can almost reach him. You can almost see him. She went to the river with Dylan and the others. To the water. She could taste the rot. But no one else could. She knew something was wrong. Something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. But soon enough, as the bodies piled up, no one was laughing. She was not like that. The bridge. It's broken. Now you have to find him. Quick, get to the house. Get to the house and finish this trial. It doesn't finish until you get to the house. Before he disappears, Senua. You have to get in. speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. If you 
see the death room, then beware, because there will be death.
There was a Northman called Grettir, big, red-haired, immensely strong, but he was afraid of the dark. It happened one night that an undead creature came to his house to drag him outside into darkness and kill him. He resisted with every ounce of his strength. He clung to the door frame, but it gave way, and they spilled out of the house, and the monster fell back, and the moon shone down on its ghastly face. Grettir, terrified, cuts off its head, but is cursed forever. From that moment on, wherever he was, he would see those hideous eyes staring back at him. Sometimes, we allow our own fear to haunt us to our grave. It's close, it's close, move away. Senua, move away. It is. Go towards it. Run. Two more. Two more. Run. It's close, it's close, move away. Samoa, move away. You'll die. Run, run.
Is, huh? It's close, it's close, move away. Samuel, move, move away. Feel it. You're done. Run, run, run now. Run, it's not safe here. Run. to kill me! Sanua! Sanua! What happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just... people. 
good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. That doesn't make them true. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. made me a monster. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking all of your inside. You're disappearing one memory at a time. Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. The memories were yours, but they're the gods now. Nothing is yours anymore. They're interfering with your memories. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tierving. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, forces itself onto our friends or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. Sanua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving.
I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like I'll when we first them. met, remember? Carver ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Herver demands her inheritance, but her father warns her the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it, but the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. Who's there? Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. The voice is getting louder. Listen, Dillian.
Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> Where are we? She has no idea. <laughs> We're going round and You have fallen in. Is there anything the same? Is there something the same? Look for clues. What sounds? What's different? There's a clue. No. You let her think. No. No, do not. In space. She just knows. No, no, no. She doesn't think to she listen doesn't. to them. She just wants us. She needs us to help her. Think clearly. Here once forever. What are you going to do when the torch runs out? I wonder about that. Until it gets dark. Oh. And then what will you do? Will you see for yourself? There's nothing you can come to believe me again. Nothing you can do.
not oh, yeah. to face my fears. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. Chief, it's a... No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come. Stand no. I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! You've done it. You did it. The warrior trials. Go get the sword. You have to get the sword. 
with grammar reforged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And the sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. Dillian gave her the strength to pass the warrior trials. And she saw a way out. To leave her past behind. And become a warrior. In Dillian's hand. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this.